Morning, beautiful people. Uh, this is Brad from the beach. Uh, it's good to be back with you doing the videos. I really appreciate John and all that he's done in these last uh, three days that we've had uh, the posts that he's put up. And uh, it's amazing the, the stuff that he, he wrote. Uh, I constantly get amazed at John and his depth and his relationship with the Lord and his ability to communicate that. So I really appreciate John doing that for me. Appreciate all of you guys who have prayed and uh, you know thought about me during this time where I've been having the uh, skin cancer surgery. Uh, if you can tell, uh, if you can see my, my right ear, I've still got a little bandage on it and uh, we're still getting that one well. But uh, we've done well with it. Uh, we've been blessed of the Lord and I really appreciate your prayers. During this time, I, you know, I've just been thinking obviously about Jesus and one of the uh, things that Jesus did that is constantly reinforced in our lives is that he reveals himself as the good shepherd. You know, it's interesting that he would emphasize that, the good shepherd, which means obviously that there are some bad shepherds, some shepherds that uh, sheep don't need to follow. And if you put a person in that role of shepherding you in this realm, you really want to make sure that you are following the right shepherd. So I want to just go back to this passage in uh, the Gospel of John chapter 10 and just read a little bit with you this morning and then make a few comments on this thought about the Good Shepherd. Verily I tell, truly I tell you Pharisees, uh, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in by some other way is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. It's interesting that people uh, in this season seem to want to appropriate the kingdom of God, that they want to be able to step into what they believe to be the things of God. Uh, they want to be blessed in this realm and blessed in the next one, but they don't want to come in through the one who is the good shepherd. When Jesus simply says that there's no way back to the Father except through Him. That there is no way back to the Father, no access to the Father except through Jesus. Uh, the world needs to understand that. That's why we continue to preach the gospel, uh, that people might know that Christ died for them, uh, that they might be reconciled to the Father. But there is no way back other than to believe in Christ Jesus and to trust what he did on the cross for us. So when we come back to thinking about him as the good shepherd, uh, here's some thoughts from this passage. First, he calls his sheep by their name. He knows his sheep uh, and they know his voice. Uh, isn't it kind of cool to know that the God of all creation really does know your name, not in just some theological vague concept, but in fact, in a personal relationship, he knows you and you know him. As you press into intimacy, you discover what his voice sounds like. There are a lot of competing voices, but isn't it good to know that we're invited into the intimacy of the one who is the good shepherd? so that we can both know his voice and follow that voice so that we don't get sidetracked and find ourselves going behind those who are not good shepherds, who are not the ones that really lead us into the things of God. So I'm going to do about three of these videos back to back, just emphasizing Jesus as the good shepherd and his voice that is so important to us. So today, please know that he knows your name. He has a place for you in his heart, and you're destined through your faith in Christ to spend all eternity with your heavenly Father. This has been Bread from the Beach. Be blessed.